hey, check this out. Last time we generated a move action in this block, and this time we're going to try and add a stretch action to this block. So this is the block, and this was the move. Here's the insertion point of the block. Here's the move command, or the move action. Um, so to get in and start editing this block, we can grip it, and we could do a BE for uh, block editor uh, and the keyboard uh, keystroke. Um, but you can also double click and it opens up the same dialog. This is the, the, uh, the block that we're editing and the lightning bolt says that it's a dynamic block. We're going to say OK and it takes us into the block editor. We have our, uh, our, our block uh, authoring palette open. And uh, so let's get right into it. What we're going to do is we're going to add a parameter. We're going to add a linear parameter. And to do that, I'm, it asks for uh, you know your your points of uh, the parameter. So I placed this uh, this parameter in here. Now I want to add an action uh, to this, and I'm simply going to do a stretch action. And the first thing that it asks for is the parameter. So I've built a parameter, and then the next thing it asks for is where do you want to stretch from? So see the red the, the red highlight over on the right. If I come all the way over to the left, it highlights over there. So whatever you pick at this point is where you're going to stretch from. So I'm going to stretch from the right-hand side, press Enter, and it picked that as my stretch point. Now it asks for uh, your corners for what you want to stretch. So just like using the stretch command, you simply go and pick where you want your cut line along this to stretch from. So I've done that, and then it says select the objects that you want to stretch. So I'm going to stretch this, basically everything, um, right in this corner. So I'm, I've stretched all that, I press enter, and now it will stretch. Now, keeping in mind that we had built this move action first, and when it picked the selection set for that it did not include this stretch parameter so what happens is is when I save this and um, I go in and check to see uh, I test it um, I can do zoom extents and you'll notice that if I move this that triangle does not follow it still stretches the objects but it does not follow and attach to that line so we want that to attach to the line, so we want to include it in that move parameter. So we have to come back here, do a right click, and do an action selection set. And I always do the new selection set because I can just grab everything again. And this time we want to include the parameter and the object and all that information. So when we save the block, we test the block, you'll notice now that uh, when we grip this, and we move this that that triangle follows so now you know that you're picking it gives you a more accurate pick if you needed to uh, have that uh, so anyway rate subscribe and uh, I will see you uh, next time thanks <laughs>